we are going to study about transformer firstly we will study about the assumption of ideal transformer first four losses are neglected second winding resistance is neglected means there is no ohmic losses thirdly leakage reactance neglected means the flux produced in the core is assumed to be confined in the core only and fourth very important mu r magnetic permeability is assumed to be infinite magnetic permeability is a property of the core or any magnetic material that permits the flow of magnetic field and magnetic permeability tending to infinity means uh, the core does not need any magnetizing current to maintain the flux in the core means for zero magnetizing current flux in the core is established means sufficient flux in the core is established means for ideal transformer magnetizing current is zero okay now the very important topic for gate purpose is core losses core losses are neglected in ideal transformer but it uh, it has sufficient value in practical transformers first eddy current loss denoted by te and it is proportional to f square and b square b is magnetic field density and p is k e f square b square and this k is constant it depends on core and volume of the core second hysteresis loss it is proportional to f beta n and n value varies from 1.5 to 2.5 and it is called emmer's constant this is b which is proportional to phi and magnetic field intensity proportional to current hysteresis loop for any magnetic core is like this so power required is ei when e is equal to n a v b by dt Integrating both sides, W is equal to n i a d t. Now dividing both sides, multiplying and dividing this term by L, we get L a n i l d t. Uh, by Ampere's circuital law, this term is equal to h. So this is volume of the core. So energy absorbed per unit volume is equal to H T B. Means uh, when current is current is supposed to be sinusoidal, then when current increased is increased from this point to this point. Means from here to here, the energy absorbed is equal to this part. But when current is decreased from here to here, so 
in this part current is positive and E is equal to n d phi by dt where this part is negative. So E i is equal to negative means energy is delivered in this part. So energy is delivered when the current decreases from its maximum value to zero value. So this is energy delivered. So energy loss is equal to this portion means zero a c. This is equal to energy loss. So when we uh, when we see the current in the complete cycle. The entire hysteresis loop gives us the loss in energy which is equal to hysteresis loss. And there is one more important thing for gate is that P core means core losses always remains constant. It is independent of load, but in practical transformer, there is slight variation in core losses, but uh, we assume core losses to be constant. And one more thing, since induced energy is root 2 pi f phi m, this phi depends only on E. Uh, means phi is constant until supply is constant. Now we are now we will see one more important thing which is about the permeability. If we have two hysteresis the hysteresis loop gives us the, about the hysteresis losses. So, the wider the area of the loop, wider the more the losses. So, since B is equal to mu naught mu R H. So, this angle is mu R 1 and this is mu R 2. So mu r1 is greater than mu r2 means pH1 is less than pH2 because its area is lesser than this. So pH1 is inversely proportional. pH is inversely proportional to mu r. Now the efficiency of transformer. Efficiency is equal to output upon output plus losses. If S is KVA rating of transformer, then N is equal to XS upon x s plus p core plus x square p copper this is ohmic loss this addition x is loading factor means if transformer is half loaded x is equal to 1 by 2 and this efficiency is maximum uh, noted that this P copper and P core is it's it's their related values. Efficiency is maximum when X is equal to P core rated and P copper rated. Most of the time in question the rated value of P copper is not given. We have to find the rated value of P copper. Then we put in this equation and we 
you'd get the loading factor always our efficiency is maximum and the curve of efficiency maximum and when we go from this point to this point efficiency increases means P copper increases on both sides at this point P coal is equal to P copper this is the condition of as we see here this is the condition of maximum efficiency when there is a maximum efficiency P coal is always equal to P copper now in terms of power factor Maximum efficiency then power factor 0.9, power factor 0.8, and so on. Means as power factor decreases, efficiency of the transformer also decreases. Now, second important thing is voltage regulation. regulation that is important for us is, is this this is power factor and this is voltage regulation this is lagging and this is leading means at leading at lagging power factor voltage regulation is always positive and zero voltage regulation and negative voltage regulation always occurs at leading power factor for zero voltage regulation tan theta is should be equal to minus er upon ex and for maximum voltage regulation tan theta should be ex upon er 